Say goodbye to the same old pumpkin pie. I'm shaking up tradition with a scrumptious twist, ginger pumpkin mousse. Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, our celebration is all about dessert and we're celebrating pumpkin. We're going to make, not a pumpkin pie, but ginger pumpkin mousse. Ginger pumpkin mousse, what is a mousse? A mousse is not quite a pudding. It's much, much lighter. It's very easy to make. And I like making this all year round. Everyone loves pumpkin pie at Thanksgiving, and I do too, but I like pumpkin other times of the year, and this is always a hit. I have here a large heat-proof bowl. That's very important, heat-proof, and I'll explain why in a few minutes. We're gonna add to this some egg yolks. I have four large egg yolks from large eggs right in. I'm gonna add a little flavoring to this. The first part is in the form of rum. This is two tablespoons of light rum. You can use dark rum, or if you can't have it, you can omit it altogether. But if you can use it, it really adds a nice pop of flavor. Right in with our egg yolks. We're gonna need a little sugar. This is just granulated sugar. Two and a half ounces or 70 grams of granulated sugar. And now, something a little unusual orange juice. I have here four ounces, 120 mils of pulp-free orange juice. Now we're going to put this all in this bowl and we're just going to whisk it until it gets kind of frothy and foamy. All right. Now I said this is a heat-proof bowl and that's important because we're going to put this over a double boiler. Now what is a double boiler? This is a double boiler. This is a large saucepan, and I have inside a couple inches or a couple centimeters of water, and it's just starting to simmer. I'm gonna put this bowl over, and this is why it has to be heat proof. I'm putting it over here on top of this, and we're gonna to continue to stir until this starts to thicken up a bit and stays really, really frothy. This is three to five minutes. The important thing is that the water does not touch the bottom of the bowl. You need space. So it gently heats up the eggs and thickens them. All right, it's been about four minutes and this is starting to thicken up nicely. Now you're not looking for a thick sauce, but it's much more fluffy. There's a lot of bubbles and you can see you can pick up the bubbles and they kind of stay on your whisk. And that's what you're looking for. Now be careful, this bowl might be hot for you, so be careful, use mitts if you need to. We're gonna remove it from the heat, but it's a pumpkin mousse, right? So let's add some pumpkin. I have here a can of pumpkin. This is one 15 ounce can, 425 grams of pure pumpkin. Make sure it's pure pumpkin and not the pumpkin pie filling. The filling has milk and spices and other things in it. We want plain pumpkin. We're gonna put this entire can right in. We need a little more spice, and that's two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. Just store-bought, right in. Then, salt. This is just a pinch of table salt. You want the finer kind of table salt because it will dissolve easier than something coarse like kosher salt. Just a pinch. Just that little bit will help balance all of these flavors. We're gonna combine this, and we just want to get it combined and keep stirring it until it's cooled. All right, this is nicely combined. One more ingredient to add to ginger pumpkin mousse, and we're going to add some crystallized ginger. Now this is two and a half ounces, about 70 grams of crystallized ginger that I finely chopped. Where do you get that? You can usually find it in your supermarket in the produce section where they have dried fruits and dried nuts. We're only gonna add about half of it for now, and we'll use the other half a little later. And we'll just stir that in. All right, this is almost cooled, so I'm just going to set this aside and let it cool. 
And now it's time to turn this pumpkin mixture into pumpkin mousse. I have my beloved stand mixer here. You could do this with a hand mixer. The important thing is I have a chilled bowl and a chilled beater. Why? We're going to make whipped cream. And that's going to make our mousse. I have here in my little pitcher, 16 ounces, 480 mils of heavy cream. Now we're going to use just plain heavy cream. No added vanilla, no added sugar. It's very important. Then we're going to whip this up until it forms stiff peaks. Now it's very important while you're doing this, don't walk away, don't look at Facebook or answer a text or anything because this will go from perfectly whipped to butter in a flash. So let's get this going. Let's check this out. Almost there. This is at the soft peak stage. You see some of it is clinging to the whisk and there's a little bit of a peak on it. We want to go to the stiff peak. All right, I think we're there. You can see it clings to the whisk. That's what you want. All right, now it's time to make our mousse. We're going to take this whipped cream and mix it in to our pumpkin mixture. We're actually going to fold it in. We're going to put the entire amount right in. And now we're just going to fold it in. From the center, lift up and right over. You just rotate your bowl. This will help the cream not to flake too much and really helps it incorporate into the pumpkin mixture. You want to do this until it's all uniform color. You don't get any more streaks of pumpkin or cream. All right, this is looking pretty good. Now I'm going to cover this with plastic wrap and I'm going to let it refrigerate it and chill for a minimum of two hours. You can let it go up to 24 hours and that's just going to get all these flavors to combine. Off to the fridge. Here we are. It's been about three hours. I couldn't wait any longer. I wanted to show you how you can serve this mousse. I have a little bowl. Always classic, but I like martini glasses and they're so much fun to have them out of a nice glass. We're not quite done with this yet. It's not quite ready to eat. Remember that crystallized ginger I told you about earlier? We're going to sprinkle some of this right over the top. But if you don't want to do that, how about a little chocolate? I have nice chocolate here, good quality. And I'm just going to run it on my little rasp and we're going to make it snow chocolate shavings all over the top of it. There we go. Now let's give this a taste. Mmm. It's really good. A mousse is very light. This is very, very light, but full of flavor. You get the ginger that's inside of it. Nice little heat from that. The sweetness from the pumpkin and the orange. It's wonderful. And yet it's still a little rich too, as a good mousse should be. I think I need a little sip of bubbly to help wash this down. Mmm. Very good. Okay, if you'd like this recipe in your inbox, then go ahead and sign up for our newsletter. While you're at it, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell, and you'll get a new episode every single week. Now, I am going to save this and serve it to my family later. Well, maybe this one I'll eat now. While I'm doing that, I want you to watch some of these episodes over here. So until next time, everyone, cheers.